Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Uh, we have a few tarot cards in here, but it's an oracle reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Leo. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so um, Leo, let's see what's going on here. Where are we here? Um, let's start with the first question. So we asked the cards because a lot of people want to know about newness and new love. Is new love on the horizon for a Leo? Will Leo find someone new? Uh, we got the six of wands. So we do have a yes answer here. You, you might have a lot of different suitors here. It looks like um, or you'll have a lot of eyes on you, you have a lot of attention on you. People could be jumping in your DMs or texting you or trying to get your attention here um, because you are parading yourself around or masquerading around or you have been promoted or propelled, you know, uh, above others or you, you're doing something on a platform here where people see you. Um, you also came out of some cheating scandal or you like you like curved it or you, you skirted around it. Um, you didn't get too wrapped up in it. You didn't get too engaged in it. Um, you chose yourself. You chose to leave, to strut your stuff and leave to, um, you rested on your principles and your morals here. Uh, what wasn't right? What is right? Um, the six of wands here. So it, it looks like, um, yeah, you will find new love. There are new prospects. Um, you found balance and harmony here. You won this battle of competition, of being in a love affair, of childishness and childish behavior. Um, you didn't win the war and the war ain't over because this person might be coming back, but or this situation might resurface for you, but you definitely um, are winning here. You, uh, you are the winner here. You're coming out unscathed. Um, victory is yours. Uh, and what clarifies that is the justice card. And also could be, uh, some of you had a really good PR team. I don't know where the fuck that came from. Anyway, um, the justice card here, you got a lot of red robes here, a lot of power here for you, a lot of power in your, your hand and your spear. Um, with the justice card here, clarifying the six of wands, you could find someone new once karmic debt is pay. I don't know what the karma is. I don't know what debt you need to repay or pay. Uh, once apology is made here with the justice card, once a legal decision is made here, it says a decision will be made. You do not determine the decision. It is by way of the universe. What is due unto you will come to you. What's due unto the other person or persons will come to them also. If you feel like you've been wronged, feel like you just can't get right. You can't get nobody that acts right. Um, not good grammar, but it, it definitely gets the message, uh, gets it to you. Um, if you feel like you just can't find anyone that does right, it says that, um, things will be made, you know, if you feel it wrong, things will be made right here. Power is out of your hand. Balance will be restored here. Something was out of order. Somebody treated you unfairly or there was you had unfair treatment here, or this is what you did, Leo. If I've been saying Libra, please excuse me. It's very late. Leo, Leo, Leo. And this is your card, Leo, here. You could be dealing with a Libra because this is a Libra's card. Um, yeah, fairness, balance. It won't be swayed by beauty and uh, whatever the decision is won't be swayed by beauty and you know, tangible things and earthly uh, matters. But this is, this is by way of the ethers, justice, karmic justice. All right. So let's talk about, because there is a past energy because some of you are winning here because you skirted around this whole debacle, this whole love affair, this whole competition, this situation where somebody was making you a number, just a number here, or putting you in a place where um, there was instability, okay, and no growth. Um, so 
how this person, whomever you're coming to the reading for, how they view you is um, the lovers, mature woman, see that? and the thief card. I don't know, I've heard, I heard somebody feels like you stole their heart, okay? Um, also, they stolen waters are sweeter. I don't know if you guys were, this, this was the person you were cheating with, or this is the person, 666, six, six, hell, this is the devil himself. Um, yeah, yeah, 6, 6. That reduces to a 6. Yeah, 6. Yeah, 6. Um, yeah, so this was like a karmic, devilish energy. Again, karma coming back up in terms of the justice card. Something's going to have to be worked out or worked off here. Um, you'll find a new love partner once this is all um, put in its place. How... This person is viewing you as, um, you know, a good sexual conquest, good sex, good love. You were um, a good lover to them um, as very mature, balanced, harmony, rest between the two of you. Again, they feel like maybe you had ulterior motive or ulterior motive. Yeah, yeah, ulterior motive. Um, you were out for something that you, you didn't mention. They feel like um, maybe you didn't live up to your end of the bargain. You changed your mind. Um, you felt like something wasn't healthy or fitting for you. Um, therefore, you extracted yourself here with the Six of Wands. Um, this could have been a third party situation. Someone could be married and or coupled here. How this person is viewing you. And this also could be vice versa. This person is viewing you. Is um, the secret woman, the woman or the man that they snuck around with or they sneak around with. Um, they're viewing you as their their temptation, their devilish temptation here is um, a sexual conquest, is um, fun, playful, um, not serious, no strings attached. This is how they were viewing the connection and, and it worked for them. I don't know if it worked for you in the long run. How you view this person is despair. You view them as, you know, a poor baby. You pray for them. Pray for their soul because um, they're in a place of despair because maybe, once again, you've left here or you left something here. You left something behind. You made the choice to leave something here. With all these sixes coming up, a six talks about a choice, and you left somebody in that instability that they tried to put you in. You left somebody in that despair that this is where you met them okay and then you brought this to their life you brought that to their life okay and um now you've taken it back they feel like they lost something they lost you now they're in despair they're back in that energy where you met them especially if this was like third party side chick whatever type situation um this person is hung over um in despair maybe even from drinking this person is uh they need guidance here it's reducing to a five um yeah they need guidance here because there's a lot of they're just unstable um they're trying to find stability in what they've created for themselves this far but it's just not working the energy between the two of you is it's the journey card. This talks about arrival and departure. Just as fast as the relationship arrived in your life and departed, you could be the person departing from this connection. You could be the person on a journey, on a new journey. You ended something here with the 10 card. You decided to rewrite, redo, remake yourself. Um, um, your, maybe even your self-identity in terms of this connection. You just don't want this anymore. Um, you and your person could have went on a, uh, a trip to um, by way of you know, car, rail, railway, or something that has wheels on it. Okay. Um, yeah, it seems as if this is over and it's time for a new chapter here. And that, that's the energy between the two of you. The advice for you, Leo, is... Um, the nine of one stand your ground in terms of people coming back. Stop looking at the past. Also, um, look forward to the future because it, it holds something much better and brighter for you. Um, this was a rocky relationship. And I know you ask yourself, is it worth me fighting for it? 
but it looks like you're already out of it right now and you possibly need to stay out of it. Yep. With the seven of wands, you need to uh, draw the line in the sand, create the boundaries here, stand on your morals, principles, and what you believe to be true. Don't be shaken. This talks about a destructive inf influence, Mars and Leo. Don't let someone come in and destruct you. Or this is Leo. Don't let, don't destruct anyone else. I don't know. Um, the seven of wands fight for what you already have. And that could be your peace, your, your serenity, your psychic abilities and, um, your intuition is heightened against or in, in terms of the opposite sex here. So it's like you're, you're getting some clarity here about maybe the, about the fact that maybe somebody wanted maybe um, a sex only connection, a sex only relationship. They'd only want to do stuff with you. Okay. Whatever that stuff is. Um, keep in mind, you are the queen of wands. You are dynamic. You are charismatic. You are outgoing. You are beautiful. You are flourishing. You are radiant. You are positive. You can make stuff happen. You can make things happen in a short amount of time, says the queen of wands. You can multitask. You're getting a lot of attention, a lot of eyes on you. Develop yourself, your psychic intuition, and your emotional stability by letting no one destabilize you. Come in and just unravel you and put you to a place of falling apart again um share your gifts with the world okay um continue to do that if you have already embarked on that journey or start it um focus on self-development the only way you do that is shutting out certain energies you're giving good advice right now to people because you're not attached to the outcome what they do with your advice you really don't care you just gave them the advice so this makes for a good empath a good uh, advisor, a good social worker, something of that nature. Focus on business and business aspirations. Make something work. Put 110% behind something, okay? Um, make sure the project that you're working on is perfect. You're perfect. It's your perfection. Um, put work over love right now um, because you're going to get the reward here. Do something over and over again. Look at something over and over again. Wash, rinse, repeat. When you think you're done with it, go look at it again. Um, listen to something over and over again, something that adds value to you. That's the advice for you. All right. And let's see what the soulmate cards have to say for you. Um, they want you to know that you are spiritually connected to those you love. Okay. So there, if there is love here, even in a very turbulent situation, you're still spiritually connected to this person. Wish them well, pray for them, pray that they find God, the guidance that they need. Now they move on. Um, and the cards want you to know when you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, no, no anxiety, no agitation. Very nice. Leo, this is a really good reading. Uh, make sure you, you take everything in a new direction here. You'll find new love if you decide to remove obstacle, go over obstacle, go in a new direction here. Um, yeah, a new pathway here. You got some man thinking about you heavily. Let them think, let them be sad, let them overthink about you. But it doesn't look as if this person can offer you what you want or offer you anything outside of bedroom, maybe some gifts, some trips. I don't know if it's good enough for you. It's good enough for me, but do know what is being offered. Uh, Leo, thank you for being here. Go over to the website, book your own Oracle, just like this one, Oracle reading or any reading at the website level. You can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can donate to the channel by clicking that buy me a coffee link. If you took something from the reading, go ahead. Give something back, Leo. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.